You know, you should never be worried about breaking traditions because a tradition is only been an innovation that's lasted. It was not a tradition when it started. And I think it's important to remember that. So be true to what is the DNA of who you are, but you have to move forward. A tradition needs to evolve and you need to evolve what needs to be and you need to keep what doesn't need to be. If you go down in the shop, you can see some of the stuff that's there are still the same as 100 years ago. And that's really important. It's about perfection. It's about process. It's about repeatability and sustainability of doing the same thing again and again, but better and better. When I was shopping in Ready to Wear, I was always buying the same stuff because I know that, okay, I know it, it's predictable. I'm just gonna have these colors and that's it. And here, okay, they've got my cut. They don't need to take my measures again. I can just choose a couple of cloths and then boom, it's gonna happen. And I know I'm gonna be well taken care of. That kind of one-to-one -one relationship that we really want to develop. So the future of Huntsman is bright and is bespoke and there's very few people who are able to do what we do. Now there's challenge because there's a bottleneck of uh, both skills and capacity here. There's also a question of affordability. So a lot of people have answered that by going down towards ready to wear. I just don't think that's what we should do. Instead, I've been trying to see for the last two years, how can we actually improve the bespoke product, both in terms of accessibility and the bottleneck. And actually the answer is coming from there. And I think it's also a homage to Savile Row where you are there to break rules. You've got a tradition of people breaking grounds. And I think that's what I'm interested in doing.